As more police officers, state troopers, and even National Guardsmen become visible in the subways, one specific group of officers is focusing on fair beaters in an attempt to prevent violent crimes. Fox Eyes Michelle Ross is live in downtown Brooklyn. And Michelle, you actually rode the subway with the NYPD. What are they saying about this tactic and if it's working or not? Natasha, it is working. Last night they made a couple of arrests and they're waiting to see what the larger impact is. But it's not necessarily fair evasion that the NYPD is targeting. They say the people that are committing the crimes down here, most of the crimes down here aren't paying their fares. They're then going on to uh, burden the commuters, prey on the commuters, commit violent offenses, and then go on to create lawlessness throughout the transit system. One after another after another. With the dozens of fare beaters, our cameras caught jumping the turnstile or walking through the emergency exit to avoid paying, you'd almost think the subway is free. But not paying still comes at a cost, especially for this man. What? Plain clothes officers arrest him at the Utica Avenue station after saying he had a bench warrant for a robbery in Queens in November. The NYPD is on the lookout for fare evaders because they say it prevents violent crimes from happening. So the city has a bigger fish to fry right. when it comes to you know fare evasion and fare beaters. Right. But this particularly goes beyond that. Right. As I just told the team that's going out there today. It may look like a low-level crime, and it may start out that way. But reducing the amount of people who come into the system without paying is ultimately reducing felony crime. Because these are going to be a people who are going to have guns, they're going to have knives, they're going to push people on the tracks. They're looking for transit recidivists, those who repeatedly commit crimes in the transit system. And chances are, the NYPD says, they're not paying their fare before committing the crime. We recover multiple firearms from engaging individuals for theft of service. On top of that, we, we encounter hundreds of people with active warrants. Of the three people arrested Thursday night, all had warrants. Once a person jumps the turnstile, police will then look them up on their phone to see if they have a criminal history, which is happening right now, and he is being arrested. From the palm of their hands, police run the person's name through the system and are immediately notified if they're dealing with a recidivist. The NYPD says it's not looking to single out riders who can't afford to pay. This man who was nabbed was sporting a Montclair jacket and Gucci bag, a designer outfit worth a few thousand dollars. But by not paying the $2.90 fare, he put himself in the spotlight. He had a warrant and was in possession of this pepper spray. Off to the precinct he went to get processed. Not everyone who is stopped is put in handcuffs, though. You never know. Maybe this person is a runaway, needs help. We can offer them services. We're not looking, we're not looking to put those people in jail. We're looking for the recidivist. If the person does not have a violent history and not in need of services, a civil summons is usually issued. This operation is made up of the transit response team with members of the community response team. They are not subject to being on a fixed post at a turnstile, at a fixed post on a platform, being a slave to the radio, answering 911 jobs all day. Their main job is to be out in the system, riding trains, engaging with customers, providing a sense of security. And although subway crime is down, many riders still don't feel safe. So the NYPD is making sure its presence is felt. These are exactly the type of people that we're going to take a low-level offense and use it to get violent people out of the transit system. By carrying out these operations, they're working to improve the quality of life for New Yorkers who just want to get home safely. And in the three minutes that our story just aired, we saw a couple of large groups come through here. We counted 14 people that did not pay their subway fare coming into the train station here. And to give you some more numbers, last year the NYPD says it arrested 38 employees for assaulting MTA employees. Now, if we combine the arrests of all of those 38 people, that comes out to 1,126 career arrests. We're live at the Barclay Center train station in Brooklyn. Michelle Ross, Fox 5 News.